the person of today feels deeply shaken by the contradictions in the world and in people. Contradictions which sometimes cause doubt about the very value of life. And yet the path of redemption is inscribed in the depths of the human heart. There, where every distracting noise is silenced, a voice is heard which illuminates, which comforts, which strengthens. The voice of God, the Father who is good, generous, wise and provident. Disseminati da un estremo all'altro del globo terrestre. This, brothers and sisters, scattered from one end of the earth to the other, is the message which the Virgin brings to each of us at this moment. Singolare momento. Dio è amore. God is love. Chiunque tu sia, qualunque sia la tua condizione esistenziale. Whoever you are, whatever your life may be like. God loves you. Ti ama in modo totale. He loves you totally. Uomo è chiamato alla comunione col creatore. Every person is called to communion with our creator. Anerito alla verità e alla felicità. The unquenchable yearning for faith and happiness reminds us of this fact constantly. Uomo di Dio. We need God. Ave Maria. Hail Mary. Due mila anni fa queste parole aprirono il nuovo corso della storia della salvezza. Two thousand years ago, these words began the new course of salvation history, marked by the fullness of time. Con queste medesime parole noi esprimiamo la volontà di ritornare a Dio per mezzo di Maria. To God through Mary. Essa, infatti, conduce a Cristo. For she leads us to Christ. All'approssimarsi del terzo millennio dell'incarnazione, vogliamo rinsaldare as the third millennium of the incarnation of Jesus draws near. We wish to strengthen our relationship with God tra gli esseri umani. As a guarantee of relationships of truth and goodness among human beings. Il modello esemplare. Della nuova umanità. Mary is the model and example e of the new humanity. In cui si è realizzato pienamente il disegno di Dio. She is the woman in whom the plan of God is fully realized. L'umile serva del Signore. At one and the same time, grazia. she is the humble handmaid of the Lord, and she is di full of grace. Mediante i misteri del rosario, le tappe dell'opera salvifica di Cristo. As we retrace the stages of Christ's saving work through the mysteries of the Rosary, we discover how Mary lived in the very rich dimensions, both transcendent and human, of those events, which were destined to leave a permanent mark upon the path of humanity. Ave Maria, la suave preghiera echeggi gioiosa. Hail Mary. May this gentle prayer joyfully re-echo in the sacred churches and shrines. May it mark the tread of pilgrim feet along the paths of time. The footsteps of the people of God on their journey. The footsteps of the people of God on their journey. La famiglia cristiana. May the rosary once more become the accustomed prayer of that domestic church, which is the Christian family. The prayer of the rosary will bring to our world the smile of the Virgin Mother, the tender tones of God's love for the brave but anxious humanity of the 20th century. This is the wish that flows from the heart on the threshold of the Marian year. May this year be a great magnificat which the whole church will offer up to the Lord, who has looked upon his handmaid in her lowliness, and who in her 
and through her has done great things. Il Magnifica della Vergine Maria sia il nostro Magnifica May the Magnifica of the Virgin Mary be our Magnifica too. Al Padre la nostra più profonda riconoscenza perché per opera dello May Spirito Santo gather and present to the Father our deepest gratitude for the fact Marie, that by the power of the Holy Spirit he has given us through Mary his most beloved Son Christ, our Redeemer Jesus Christ ogni onore e gloria per tutti i secoli dei secoli Amen to him be all the honor and glory forever and ever. Amen. Now the choir will sing the Regina Celi, Queen of Heaven, rejoice, Alleluia, as the Holy Father incenses the cross and the image of the Virgin Mary. Incense is symbolic of prayer because the psalm says, let our prayer ascend as incense in your sight. Incense is also consumed in the service of God. Presenting the five continents, 14 children in all, come to present a tribute of flowers, many of them roses, symbolic of the rosary. A tribute of flowers which will be placed at the base of this historic picture of Mary, the mother of Jesus, Mary, the mother of God. This Marian year, a year in honor of Mary, was declared on the 12th centenary of the Second Council of Nicaea, which said that the destruction of images of the Blessed Virgin Mary, icons, was wrong because images, understood properly, remind us of God's heroes and heroines, and the greatest of those heroines is Mary, the mother of Jesus. These children of every race, of every nation, show the unity of the church and the universality, the Catholicity of the church, as all throughout the world are joined in prayer this day. We have other children in Guadalupe, Mexico. We have many thousands at Częstochowa, Poland, where the Holy Father will be visiting this week, and in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, the largest Catholic country in the world. The Holy Father will now Dominus give his blessing. The Lord be with you, and also with you. Sit nomen Domini Benedictum. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Now and forever. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And now there will be sung the Salve Regina, Hail Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy, our life, our sweetness, and our hope. And there Mother Teresa can be seen in Częstochowa, Poland, joining in this hymn. And so in 16 shrines all over the world, this hymn is being sung 
the bells of the shrines are being rung, and in many of the shrines, people are waving their handkerchiefs, saluting the Holy Father. And as the Holy Father is able to greet hundreds of thousands of people in St. Peter's Square after ceremonies at Christmas and Easter, he can now greet millions of people gathered at 16 shrines all over the world. They are able to see him, and he is able to see them in what may be the first worldwide congregation ever gathered. There are 15 of the shrines joined live by global television together with Rome. The Holy Father is seen greeting many of the people in the Basilica of St. Mary Major, and now we see Washington, D.C., Częstochowa, Poland, Manila in the Philippines, where the president of that nation joined the nation's two cardinals and hundreds of thousands of people in honoring the Blessed Virgin Mary at the beginning of her year. The Pope walks quickly down the aisle of St. Mary Major Church in Rome, the oldest church in the world dedicated to the Mother of God. Austria. Now we see Nach, Ireland, Bombay, Rio de Janeiro, and Luhan, Argentina. The bells of Fatima are ringing. The bells of St. Mary Major are ringing. We see Zaragoza, Spain, Dakar, Senegal. And soon the Holy Father will be able to see the screen there in the Basilica of St. Mary Major so that he will be able to have the experience of seeing the people of the world saluting him. There is the church of Guadalupe, Mexico. It was in this shrine that there is preserved the cloak of the Indian Juan Diego, who had a vision of the Blessed Virgin Mary and when the bishop didn't believe it, he went back for a sign, and the sign given was a sign of roses in the, when the Indian took it to the bishop. There was a, an image of the lady he had seen. Here is Fatima, with the bells ringing, the people waving. There is the Archbishop of Washington applauding the Holy Father, and the people waving their handkerchiefs, as they do often in St. Peter's Square. A procession leaving the Grotto of Lourdes, the people at Częstochowa who await the Holy Father's coming. People throughout the world saluting the Holy Father on this historic occasion when 16 shrines have been joined with Rome for the first worldwide congregation ever assembled. There is the reflection of all of the places linked together today in interactive prayer responding to the prayers said by the Holy Father. The shrines were Fatima, Portugal, Lourdes, France, Zaragoza, Spain, Mariazell, Austria, Frankfurt, Germany, Częstochowa, Poland, Nach, Ireland, Dakar, Senegal, Bombay, India, Manila in the Philippines, Washington, D.C., Quebec, Canada, Guadalupe, Mexico, Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, Luhan, Argentina, and Calcutta, Paraguay. And so, as we see our world in an actual live picture from space, we can appreciate the power of technology to bring people together and the power of prayer to bring about one world at peace under God. The preceding program was made possible by a grant from BIC. by special arrangement, a limited edition video cassette of this historic live telecast is now available to strengthen and deepen the message of our prayer for world peace. This commemorative home video includes a special personal message from Mother Teresa, 
plus many more cities and congregations in America and throughout the world not seen in the telecast. You may order your special cassette now by calling 1-800-635-5442. That's 1-800-635-5442 for the Prayer for World Peace home video. Please call now. Global Media would like to thank the Pontifical Commission on Social Communications and Rai TV and the Lumen 2000 International Lumen 2000 por su asistencia a esta transmisión especial. Esta fue una presentación de Global Media.